Today we are diving into this neon trend. For a lot of people, wearing neon can be a little bit intimidating, especially not most of us are walking around with a full-blown neon eye. So this is a perfect way to incorporate a little bit of color and have some lip options. So today we went with a little bit of yellow and green to complement this like neon green that we have going on. If you're recreating this look for your upcoming vacation or your summertime Time, fun and dinner dates make sure to keep on watching So today we're gonna go in with these beautiful pixie palettes. This one is the Natural Beauty, and this one is the Reflex Light Palette. These are very great quality. I love pixie products, eyeshadow, skincare, so pretty much they're awesome. So they sent over a really cool little brush set. These are really, really nice. These were included in there, but if you have shorter travel brushes, this would be a really nice little storage box. That will not get squished when you are traveling. So today we are doing a traveling kind of vibe. Like I've had some sun. I just kind of threw my hair into you know, a little braid. And we want to do a neon colors, but we are not ready for that neon life yet. So today we are going to go in with our crease shade. I'm gonna do a combo of these two browns right here. This one is called Rose Clay and this other brown is called Deep Taupe. So I'm just kind of placing the color and diffusing it. I do like that this brush is soft and it is helping me really work with the product and blend it out really quickly. So that was rose clay. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that deep taupe and see how deep it is. So in case you're wondering, their fluffy brush is E02. I don't know if they sell these on their website or if they're going to, but I really like their brush quality. I go in with a more dense precision brush. And with that chocolate brown shade, this is the bronze gleam shade. To do soft brown, and if that one is not dark enough, then we'll go in with that darker brown, because I do want definition. So I'm placing all in the crease, because that is going to really give that definition once we create the cut crease. And I basically want to lay it down all around. So really quick tip, I do have a little bit of a hooded eye. So when I do a cut crease, I always do it a little bit higher than my eyelid, just a tad. So when I'm applying a darker shade and I'm rounding it out, I make sure that I lift it just a tad bit above the crease so that when I end up cutting the crease, you can still see the darker shade as definition versus just keeping it low and then cutting the crease and that color is basically lost. So that is a quick tip. Also make sure that you have your blending brush. I like to keep the same brush and a clean one around because I blend as I work. I want to just kind of make sure that it is blended out and I like to extend it out to the edge just because I like that more like cat eye elongated effect. If you want a lighter brown and not so intense or you want to intensify it, it's up to you. I feel like this is good for me for now. When you're doing a cut crease, you can choose any bright concealer or or white concealer. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you pack the color and you'll work from there. I do like using two types of brushes depending on what I have available. Depending on what I want to do is what brush I'm going to use. But basically the idea is that this dome shape is going to help you apply the concealer and have already that rounded edge. And if I'm doing a little bit more precise work, I would probably reach for this one right here to reach all the top 
area. Because I have a hooded eye and I have to do a little bit more precise work. If you don't have a hooded eye and cut creases work for you just like by blinking up. A lot of people do that. Um, I don't really like that method only because I feel like one, I feel crazy and two, I'd rather just, you know, tilt my head and work and make sure that both sides are pretty much the same, but that is what I do. So for today, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild. This one is in Fair Beige. For me, this is quite light. I've used white concealers before, but this is just what I have right now. This does not crease on me. Some people will go in with the wipe and take off the middle of the eyeshadow. I feel like that's a hassle and I really don't want to do it. So I just kind of work on top of what I already have. And I put the concealer in the back of my hand. I like to have the mirror right here and tilt my head forward. And then just kind of like apply where I'm going to use the cut crease. So I just kind of stamp it on with the edge. And then worry about precise work a little bit later. Once you have your cut crease, I like to go in with face powder. You can go in with a white eyeshadow if you want. And I just kind of set that. Alright, so like I said, I have hooded eyes and I like to not only cut the crease a little bit higher, but I also like to create like more of an eyelid right here in the inner corner. I just feel like it helps open up my eye a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can really like catch it on camera, but the middle shade looks like it has a little bit of sparkle. Cocoa Shimmer, I just want to put it on the edge of the eye as we blend. See if we can actually catch that glitter if it's just the top of the eyeshadow, you know, like a coating. I want to place it on the outer edge. Looks like it is catching a little bit of that sparkle. I'm going to go in with another fluffy brush. This is not as big, so it's just going to help me diffuse it in that area and then blend around it. I'm gonna go back in with that soft brown and then see if I need to darken it up just a tad. Once you achieve your desired smokiness, we're gonna go in with the eyeliner, which is going to be basically the star of the show. The best way that I found to wear a neon eyeliner and it still be neutral is layering the black eyeliner first and accenting with a more neon shade. You could just go in with the neon eyeliner and pop some lashes on and that's fine. I prefer the black eyeliner and then that. Eyeliner part is going to be the trickiest part of this look because it depends on how thin or thick you want your eyeliner. We'll say that with this eyeliner, you do have to be careful and you kind of have to accept that it's going to crack. I have not found another bright eyeliner that really works. I'm already seeing some cracks at the very beginning of the eye. That wraps up the look. I really enjoyed this turnout. I think it's perfect. You can go smokier or lighter. Make some shades in here and you are ready to glow and vacation. So let's talk about a couple products that I used and my thoughts. Of course, these Pixie palettes are awesome. This is the first time that I officially use these. I have used the other palettes, but I really enjoy them. Their metallics and foils are really nice and their mattes are always nice. So definitely 
definitely check out Pixie. I really recommend them. I've talked about these eyeliners before. They're awesome because of the price point. What I do not like is the cracking that's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you in. A lot of people have told me that these will crack if you put too much. In my opinion, I don't feel like I put a whole lot in order for it to crack. I feel like the first layer, it already was cracking. So I don't like these if you are going to take really close up pictures and you are not going to retouch that line. This is not going to look perfect and flawless. I really wish that Wet n Wild would launch actual neon colors in this particular Mega Liner line because I have been having great experiences with this. People compare it to the NYC that was discontinued. I really, really like it. It's long lasting. It's actually black and not glossy. So it's the first time that I try out this particular style. I have tried their Lash Couture Triple Push Up. I basically have the entire line. That's how much I like them. I really recommend them. And and this style in particular is Teddy and I feel like it's nice fluffy and even if you have hooded eyes like me you can still appreciate the work on the eyelid lastly let's talk about the Milani satin matte liquid lipsticks I had tried their regular liquid lipstick a while ago and I absolutely hated it it cracked, it was super drying, I didn't understand why people loved it so much. Now the satin line, I feel like is a really comfortable formula. I feel like this would wear nicely. I have worn this all day and I feel like it has a good lasting power, nice pigment. This one was a little scary when I put it on because it felt like it was going to be way lighter, but as we saw, it actually dries down. It was pretty nice. Peachy Nude and this is the shade Lavish. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. I really enjoyed this neon look. If you recreate anything, make sure to tag me. Also make sure to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Also since you are here make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can know every single time that I upload. Like always thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.